Hey, it's Kimmy again with Positive Energy. Hope you're doing great today. Um, what I'm going to speak about in this video is all about making changes. Why is it so hard? Why does it have to be so hard to make a change in your life? I can, I can remember making some really major life changes in my past on certain issues and it was just so difficult but it, I reached a point to where I was just so sick of living the way I was that I knew that I had to do something about it and you have to pretty much be at that point before you're going to make any kind of real changes I mean, you know, like take with when I tried to quit smoking. I had smoked for 20-something years. I'm not proud of that, but um, it was a habit, and it was hard to break. But I knew that when I started having so much wheezing, as soon as I woke up in the mornings and coughing, um, it just didn't go along and align with how I really like to live. Um, I'm, a workout, I'm a workout freak. I'm always at the gym and it just didn't it just didn't align with that. So you know I tried to quit several times before I quit for good. You know I'd quit and then you know several months would go by and something extremely stressful would come up and there I'd go right back to it again. And finally what broke the straw was I had just turned 35 at the time and I turned the pack over, not that I had never read this before, but I turned the pack over and read the Surgeon General's warning and I thought something clicked in me and I said, you know, that's it, no more. I set the pack down, had five cigarettes left and I said, you know, I'm done. And those pack of cigarettes, those five cigarettes in that pack, stayed out on the deck, and I never went back to them again. And it was rough, and I had so many cravings for, for quite some time. But I started feeling much better, both mentally and physically. Um, I can remember going into a store and going up to the counter and seeing the kind of cigarettes that I smoked sitting there on the counter and it would just be so tempting to just buy those packs. It would just be so easy. It's right there. And just go smoke and be over and just forget about all this trying to change. But what helped me get past that point is, you've probably done this too, is that I, re I had to really remind myself now why was it I was trying to quit? Oh yeah, that's right. Because it was really making me feel sick. Literally sick. And I was at, at an age that it was going to start affecting me more and more physically if I didn't give it up. And then it would, that was all that it took. And I say, okay, yeah, that's right. Forget it. I don't need those things. So it's been about 15 years now, give or take, since I quit. And actually now, I, I can't even stand the smell of it. It just makes me nauseous and dizzy. So, you know, as with any kind of change, that's what it takes. You have to, you have to remind yourself each time you get tempted to continue in it, you have to really force yourself to remind yourself of, of what it, why was it I was trying to quit in the first place? What, why did I want to get rid of this habit? You know, and remind yourself also of the benefits of quitting, of breaking the habit. What are the benefits? Um, and you've got to want to, you've got to desire to have that instead. You have to make that desire to quit 
stronger than the cravings. And the only way to do that is to keep it constantly going in your mind of why, why you want to give it up. So basically, you know, that goes for a lot of things. Um, I didn't use EFT like I was talking about in earlier. I didn't use EFT or hypnosis at the time because I didn't know anything about them. Uh, I just quit cold turkey. And, you know, I did the same thing when I had, um, when I struggled with anorexia. I, I did that for 10 years. You know, that's more of a control issue. Um, but I also consider it like a habit. Um, it's just, you get locked into it, like an obsession, and it's it's really about control. Um, trying to take control over something you didn't have control over um, in childhood. But I did that the same way as I did the smoking. I just quit. Um, I reminded myself of, you know, why do, why do I want to give this up? Because it's making me feel bad. Um, and it just doesn't make any sense to keep doing something over and over and over that makes you feel so terrible. Maybe it makes you feel good in that moment, but, <laughs> you know, afterwards, you go right back down to this low level again. And it just doesn't make any sense. So I did... I gave up the smoking that way. Uh, I, I quit the eating disorder, anorexia that way. Um, I also did giving up sweets that way. I was a sugarholic. I'm a recovering sugarholic. So whatever it is that um, you feel you have to have in your life in order to get by, in order to feel better is is a habit that's usually no good. Um, you know, now anything that you that you feel compelled to do over and over and over um, to try to get rid of some other kind of bad feeling or emotion is is something that really needs to be a, that you need to address in order to get more balance, more inner peace in your life. Um, so that's that's what I've done. I've overcome a lot of things in my life. Um, it takes a lot of determination, and you have to you just have to have that desire to do so. And it's so easy, and I do understand it's so easy to get locked into those things, and and especially if you have um, more of an addictive type personality. And I admit, I do. So for people like that, it's easier to get locked in with that. It's easier to fall into it. Um, and it's so difficult to, to get rid of it. So that's why I do the EFT. That's why I, I do the EFT on myself um, and the um, self-hypnosis. And I help others with it to help... Um, to give you tools to use to help you ease the ease the um, make it easier on yourself. So that's going to wrap up this video. Um, I hope that some of what I'm saying might uh, benefit somebody listening to it. Um, hope you're enjoying it. I'll keep making these. I'll keep practicing. Um, like I say, I'm not, I'm not a natural speaker, of course. Uh, this is this is all new to me. This video stuff. I see other people doing it so naturally and sounding so good, and I think, you know, I guess it just takes practice. Um, this is truly a challenge for me. So, um, if you want to make a comment, if it's uh, even if it's constructive criticism. Um, I'm okay with that. So I'll wrap it up for now. Hey, I hope you have a absolutely wonderful day the rest of the day, whatever time it may be right now for you. Um, here in Texas, it's raining. 
wonderful rain that we so much needed after a drought. Um, and wherever you're at, enjoy your day. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.